Let's go ahead and do this problem. Represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct SI form. For part A, we have megagram over millisecond. So we want to convert that to seconds. For every second, there are 10 to the third milliseconds. So those cancel. Megagram times 10 to the third is equal to 10 to the ninth grams over seconds, which is the same thing as a gigagram per second. So that's the first one. Part B, we're given Newtons over millimeter. We want to convert that to meters. So for every meter, there is 10 to the third millimeters. Those cancel, which gives us a kilonewton per meter. So that's the second one. For part C, we have millinewton per kilogram microsecond. So we want to convert that to seconds. So for every second, there are 10 to the 6 microsecond. So those cancel. And that leaves us with 10 to the 6 times millinewton, which is also 10 to the negative third newtons over kilogram times second. So that's going to leave us with 10 to the third newtons, which is also the same thing as a kilonewton over kilogram times second. So that's the last one.